Hi everyone, this is Math OD2 3.3. We're working in scientific notation, and I'm going to do an example with you of how to multiply numbers which are written in scientific notation. And this one is the more challenging of the two examples where you have to do a little bit more work at the end. So the first thing I'm looking at is these two numbers. Remember, everything here is getting multiplied together. So what I can do, because multiplication is commutative, right? 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. Order does not matter. So I can rewrite this as 4.7 times 6.1. And if you find your decimal places are starting to look a little bit too much like your multiplication symbols, you can use a star. You don't want to use an x simply because um, we use x's so much in algebra. And that can get super confusing. So the other terms I have here, as you can see, are 10 to the negative third and 10 to the positive ninth. So again, I'm literally just moving things around. I'm rearranging the furniture. So this is the tricky part. This is where it gets a little bit weird. When you multiply 4.7 times 6.1, we get a number that's larger than 10. We get 28.67, okay? And then over here, remember we have to use the product rule. Nine plus negative three is six. So we get th this is 28.67 times 10 to the six, okay? Most people tend to wanna just stop here, okay? The problem is, this is not in scientific notation. By definition, there can only be one digit here before the decimal place. And as you can see, we have not one, but two. We have a two and an eight both in front of our decimal place, and, or decimal point rather. That cannot happen. So this is not in scientific notation. Um, if you're on an exam, you might get partial credit for this, but you're not gonna get full credit, you're gonna miss points. Okay, so now that we've established that we're not done yet, we can't be finished, unfortunately, we have to figure out, well, great, what are we gonna do? Well, we already actually know how to do this, right? This 28.67, this is a number in, oops, sorry about that. Um, this is a number in standard form so we can just use our normal procedures to take a number in standard form and convert it to scientific notation. And if you need help doing that, just go back and watch one of the videos that I've made, okay? So we have 28.67, okay? So our decimal point is starting here, okay? And remember, it has to move over so that there is only one digit in front of the decimal place. So it's gonna start there, it's gonna end between the two and the eight. So that means we move it over to the right one unit, okay? So this becomes, in scientific notation, 2.867 times 10 to the something right? And we know, hopefully we know, because we moved it over once, it's either going to be 10 to the first power or 10 to the negative first power. And people get very confused about which one it is, okay? And in a previous video, I spent a lot of time talking about how to know. To me, it's way too confusing to think about left and right because the rules are completely opposite depending on which way you're going. So what I do is I just ask myself, okay, self, is this number larger than one or is it smaller than one? Which one do I have? So I think we can all agree that 28.67 is larger than one, right? It's better to have 28 candy bars than to have one candy bar. That's more, okay? So anytime, remember, you're working with a number larger than one, that means that you're going to have a positive exponent, not a negative exponent, okay? So our final answer just for this bit, remember not the whole problem, is that this piece right here that I wrote in pink is 28.687 times 10 to the first power. So this is where it gets a little bit wonky. 
I need to take this whole thing and I need to put it back into this space right here. Because guess what, guys? This 10 to the 6th power, he's still there. He's still hanging out there. So I really need to include him in my final answer. So let's do that. Okay, the 2.867, he's, they're going to stay, right? So what I need to do is I need to combine these two powers of 10. Okay, so again, we're using the product rule. 1 plus 6 is 7. So my final answer is that I have 2.867 times 10 to the 7th power.